thank you for watching this video. We're going to go through how to set up authentication, uh, the authentication actions in our login and sign up page, or sign in and sign up page. So here we have the login button. We have an action here. I'm actually going to remove this and do it from scratch. So select the button, select an action. Instead of navigate, we want the authentication. We want to log in for this one. And then email is the auth provider. We're going to select the fields. And the login and then the password login. Um, if your form field, since we have sign in and sign up uh, fields on this same page, um, you have to make sure your names are different. So we have the login differentiator for the email and the password. We're going to now switch tabs and go to sign up select the create account button and select action again on tap instead of navigate authentication uh, instead of login we're going to select create account and then the auth provider is again email and then let's select the email field it's not the login it's just email address password and we have a confirmed password as well let's do that we will be creating a new record and that record will go to the collection users. All right, there's one last thing we want to do. So we have sign in, sign up, uh, where you can create an account. We've turned on authentication in Firebase. We've created our database tables, uh, both in Firebase and here in Flutterflow. Uh, the last thing we want to do is we want to send this user uh, through a onboarding experience there when they first create their account. So I've designed this onboarding screen. Uh, it's page view. You're able to swipe through and sort of see all of the uh, benefits to this app. Uh, this can be for any app, right? If you have an appointment scheduling app, you can explain how to uh, book an appointment. So this one, we just want to show this screen at the you know very first. Uh, onboarding experience so when a user first creates an account and then we want this button to actually go to our home page so I'm gonna do that I'm gonna hook that up right now I'm gonna just send this to the home page we also want the user to come here so how do we do that we come to the create account we already have the action to authenticate so this is this should be your action number one it should always be your action number one uh, the reason for this is when we add a second action uh, if we say have a, a an action to navigate to a page, which we do want, so we want to navigate this to the onboarding page. If you do this as action one, uh, you will you will navigate to that page without creating the account. So your data won't be passed to the database. So we always want our first action to be authentication, so that we can create the account. And then the second action will be the navigate action. So let's see how that goes. Uh, we had an issue come up. We don't have it anymore. Let's go ahead and run this and see what we can do. And uh, I'll let this run. I'll come back to it. All right, I uh, ran my app and it compiled. We now have our login page, our signup page. So if we get, let's try an email, andrew at test.com. Let's not try our password just to see if it works. Boom, there's no user record corresponding to this identifier. User may have been deleted. Awesome. So let's try to sign up. Let's go in here, andrew at test.com. Let's go ahead and create a password. All right, let's create an account. And then boom we get this onboarding page. Oh, that is smooth. We didn't even preview this. Uh, I think it's very nice. And we continue. Cool, now we have our books. Rock on. You can grab this. Our price is working. Perfect. We need to come to our product page and actually um, set this firebase up so right now we have our our price we are showing a book because we're getting it from here um, but we didn't set up our our uh yeah we didn't set up anything else with firebase but we're implementing our price if you go back to our page here 
uh, book details. You'll see we did this complicated setup. Very cool. Shows it right there. We're adding it to cart. And right now we're just, you know, going through. This is just going through the motions. Same thing with shipping address. Thank you again for watching. I'm so glad that we could go through the entire flow of setting up authentication for sign in, sign up, hooking up our Firebase, hooking up our collections in Flutterflow, um, linking to an onboarding flow after a user creates an account. Uh, I hope this helps. If there's any other comments, uh, leaving them or any other questions, leave them in the comments below. Uh, we want to answer them and help you build amazing apps. So thank you again.